الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ما بعد واي ذا نيد فور ساوند عقيده فاست اند فورموست وان سيكينج تو ريكتيفاي ذا سوسايتي ريتن باي عبد الله جلو اي نعم ذا نيد فور ساوند عقيده تو ريكتيفاي ذا سيت اوف افيرز شوف الاسلام ستر ريجاردينغ واي هي روت على وسطيه ذا ريزون فور رايتينغ ذس بوك واز ذات وان اوف ذا جاجز اوف واسيت كام تو مي اس تو مي ا شيخ كولد Radiyuddin al-Wasiti from the followers of the Shafi Madhab he came well list on his journey and was one of the good people and adherent to the religion he complained about the overwhelming ignorant and wrongdoing in his land and the rulership of the Tatars and asked me to write for him an akhir that will be a fundamental support for him and his household but I asked him to excuse me from this request I say to him the scholars have written various books of Akhida so take from the books written by Imams of the Sunnah but insisted and carried on urging me and said I do not want to accept a book of Akida written by yourself so I wrote this Akida for him while I was sitting after Asir so in, the, in, in that one sitting after Asir prayer Shaykh al-Islam wrote accurately this Akida and fulfilled what the request I desired Shaykh al-Islam said many copies of this book spread in Egypt, Iraq and other places this is the reason why Shaykh al-Islam wrote the book they need to clarify the Akida making it clear to the people and attaching them to their creator and Lord, their master and professor drew the sound Akida and upright man is the affair by way of which the degeneration and liberation in society will be cured. That is because the greatest cause of degeneration in society is due to lack of truly knowing Allah, His rightness, exaltedness, and perfection, and what the heart should have in them about Allah by way of exaltation. And it has been said, the one who knows Allah more will fear Him more. But when a person's knowledge about Allah is weak, then various deviations, devi deviations and corruptions appear among the people. Therefore, the Akida is the cure and the that will bring about safety. If the Akida is sound, the, the deeds will be upright, behavior will become good, and the souls will be satisfied. Contemplate on this in relation to the affair of the righteous judge and the state of his land, such as his mention of the spread of ignorance, rife, uh, wrongdoing, and corruption. So he went to find a solution to these problems by asking Sheikh Islam to write a book on creed. When you look at the set of affairs in our time, you will see this widespread and the painful state of affairs in many societies. Therefore, people are greatly in need of concentrating on Akida, learning Akida, nature upon Akida, and spread to heed, Iman, and fear that will bring about strong attachment to Allah. This judge saw that Akida is the solution and cure. And he acknowledged Sheikh Islam's uh, leader, leadership in knowledge, religion, pity, and great station. So he sought from him, and incidentally, Sheikh Islam agreed to write this book. Alama Sheikh Salih al-Fawzan Afidah Allah said The rectification of every nation and its upright as, uh, ascendancy is tied to the soundness of Aqidah and Afkar, Jews or God. Therefore, due to this reason, the message of the Prophet uh, came to rectify the Aqidah of the people. So the first thing every messenger said to his people was Abudullah ma'alak min ghayruhu worship Allah, you have no other ilah God but him. La ilaha illallah, la anana there to be worship but Allah, Surah Al-Araf, Ayah 59. Another most high say, Fa'ad ba'atana fi kulli ummatan, Rasulullah ibn Abdullah Hussain ibn Tawud, and what you have seen among every ummah community nation, and Messenger, proclaim worship Allah alone, and avoid or keep away from Tawud or false letters, it is seen that it will not worship Tawud, says Allah, Surah Al-Nahal, Ayah 6. And that is because Allah will fail be he and free is, is, is he from all imperfections. Created the, the Khalaq that is jinn and mankind to worship him alone and not associate anything as a partner with him. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah the Most High said, uh, And I, Allah created not the jinns and humans except they should worship me alone. Surah Dariyat, Ayah 56. A bad worship is a, is a right to do to Allah alone, which his slaves <coughs> must fulfill just as. Uh, the Prophet Wasallam said to Mu'ad ibn Jawar do you know uh, what is the rate of Allah upon his servants? I said Allah is the no best. The Prophet Wasallam said to worship, to worship him alone and to say to none in worship with him. I do know what is, what is their right upon him. I said Allah is the no best. The Prophet Wasallam said not, not to punish them if they do so. That's Buhari. This is the first and foremost right or obligation that one must fulfill. Yet the exception, nothing else precedent or no its precedence. You want to apply it to the right of anyone or the obligation on to anyone. Over it, Allah made the Most High said, "Waqad arbuk Allah ta'budu illa yahu bilad nisana." And the Lord has a decree that you worship none but Him, and that you be dutful to your parents. Surah Al-Isra, Ayah 23. 
قلت تعالوا اتلو ما حرم ربكم عليكم ولا تشركوا به شيئا وبرد نسانا سي محمد كامل او الرسائل التي يولد هاز بروبيتد يو فروم فروم جوي نوت اني ثينج نو شيب ديم بي جود اند بيتر تو يور بارنتس سورة الام ايه 151 بس بس اي نعم الريفرنس يعني شرح كتاب التوحيد لسنة بشك عبد الرزاق البدري ريفرنس تو از ان اكسبت فروم محاضرة في العقيدة والدوان وان ستروك سيفن تو سيفنتين سلاتري برافيس نعم أيوة.